Okay, good morning YouTube. This box contains probably the most difficult swarm in the history of the world to catch. Probably not, but this was a tricky one. We got a call yesterday from Toby down at the Salem Golf Club that there was a swarm in a tree that the golfers weren't too happy about. So we went down to get it and this video is going to document this horribly difficult swarm to catch. Don't scare me. What? Let's go and get my gloves so I can hold Well, them. go get them quick. Do you have a catcher with you? Ready? Yeah. Is it easy? Mm-hmm. Take them out of the bag. I have two pairs. Let's Are they being aggressive? No, not real bad. Do I have two pairs in here? No, just one. You probably don't need them, honey. To so hold a bee? I You're not going to hold me bees right now. Can you help me with this? This is a swarm we were called out on at the golf course. We are way back here on the green somewhere. What? Hold it. Go on, go up there and help him look for the queen. Kendallin's going to help him look for the queen today. We don't even have her suit on her all the way. She won't have her gloves on. Little bees. Starting to march over here a little bit. Would she already be in there if they're marching? No, not necessarily. Keep your eye out close, Kendall, and look for her. Remember, the back of her probably won't have stripes on her. Uh, She'll probably just be that light tan color, but real long. Yeah, that's probably What's good. going on right here? All over. No. Okay. These are all over. They are starting to march in. In the beads, you can't ideal find the that queen. This is all I know. Lumpy either, but it is what it is. You have to talk, yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> Got a good march going over here now. I see that. Oh, hi, 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 bees. Well, some yeah. of those drones are huge. The word's out. We found a house. We're going in. Well, where's our queen? We have to have a queen. Barely. Got a good march going over here now. I see that. Oh, hi, hi. Hi, bee. Well, some yeah. of those drones are huge. The word's out. We found a house. We're going in. Well, where's our queen? We have to have a queen. <laughs> See how they're marching, Hannah? Uh -huh. We haven't found her yet. They're all collecting up here above you. We may have to shake it again. But See how they're all starting to march in here? They've, they're, they're accepting this and they're coming in. Oh, way up high? Yeah, way up high. Uh, what do you need? We might have a pole saw or something to raise that high. Well, we've got something we could hook it with and give it shake, a shake. Shake them again, although they're above a bunch of branches okay, now. Shake them again. Can I get the suit on? If you want to. Oh, yeah, they are recollecting. Right up there. Uh, yeah. With those girls. Are they going in the box then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's like a funnel right now. What's making them go in the box? How this 
Some of this is old, well it's not old comb, but it's got, it came out of a hive, so it's got this, the hive smell to it. And I put some lemongrass oil on a couple of the frames that, you can see some how they're, they're like fanning. They have a, a gland on their back that uh, emits a pheromone called Mazanoff. And it's kind of like the, the come here smell. And the lemongrass oil kind of mimics that smell. Recollecting. So you guys thinking the queen went up there? She may have the amount of bees that are up there. Right there. They are recollecting way up in the tree now. Okay, you can see we, we shook them down. Um, we did not find the queen. And they ended up going back up in the tree much higher than they were before. And we were unable to reach them. So we got a little creative. Okay, we're pretty sure our queen must be in this group that is gathering way up in the tree again. So, it's too high for us to shake it. So, they have brought out the chainsaw, the pole saw, to cut this limb down. To try and get them. directly on our box. Yes. See any queens yet? Nope. They're really flying around here. See, after we cut the branch down, uh, once again, we didn't get the queen, and the swarm moved down a tree or so from where they were at, which actually turned out to be probably a benefit because where they were at originally, that slope was very difficult to work on. Okay. You want me to help you? Bingo. But see, there's still some on the tree. There's still a lot on there. No, there was still a lot that stayed on. Stayed on the tree. Oh yeah, there. She's got to still be on there. She brought the generator in the back and the ladder. There's still a little bit, but not a lot. Straight back. We shook them from this tree several times. They were a little high, but at least we could reach the branch. Uh, every time we shook them, they would go airborne and go right back up and recluster. And uh, we probably shook them four or five times here. And then Toby suggested, "Hey, we've got a front end loader." Oh, a proof, but yeah. I know. <laughs> okay, this. This is plan. I'm not sure which. I'm not sure if we're on or not. But this is our plan. As Porcupine says, this is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. <laughs>
can probably get the bees if I go closer. They're calming down. Why are they calming down? Because they're all up there. Probably gonna be millions. Millions, you think? Yep. It seems that way, huh? You and me are gonna be talking in this video. Yep, we are. See him getting them by the handful and putting them in the box. Who does he see the queen? <laughs> well, I can probably get the bees if I go closer. They're calming down. Why are they calming down? Because they're all up there. Probably gonna be millions. Millions, you think? It seems that way, huh? You and me are going to be talking in this video. Yep, we are. See him getting them by the handful and putting them in the box. Who does he see the queen? Getting a little hairy down here for me. You look good, Toby. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're fine from where we sit. No. I wouldn't blame you. They haven't been real aggressive. Do you see the queen? Not yet. <laughs> hey, the queen must be hiding. You better keep... You really, I mean, is the queen that much different? She's quite a bit longer. And a lot of times, she's not really striped. It's just kind of like a caramel color. So I'm gonna. But when you've got that many bees, it's, it's like you can look name. over it 80 times and not see her. And how many times has Brian looked over them? I have quite a few. Like a hundred or something? Yeah. Now you better keep your eye on this sewer drain down here. Why? And make sure there aren't any. He's just taking handful at a time. Yeah, this thing's buzzing by my head like. So, so you want to move? I'm not gonna blame you. I feel like I'm in an Indy car race. <laughs> I... And chances are they came from a hive. They said like 500 or 600. Feet right away. here on the yeah, right here, probably within. You could probably see it from here. A beehive somewhere right here. Not very far. Up in a tree or something. Tilting forward a little and driving forward a little. All then right. going up a hand. Alright, tell me when to stop. I'll go forward first. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Porcupine is going to have so much editing to do on this video. <laughs> See, there's still a good amount of them up there. Do 
she's underneath them or is she just mixed in with them? Kind of mixed in with them. Scout bees are still coming and going. Does it look like you're making any headway? I mean, there's a lot in the box at the moment. At least on top. I can't tell how many are down in the frames. Watch out. Oh, it's the sheriff. Well, I was going to say he's he's aiming that direction unless he's unless he's really bad. No. No. Yeah, from down here, it doesn't look like he's making any headway, does it? Yeah, it does, but I think they're going up the... Yeah, they're the going up that one, one. Up. yeah. Is there any way we can get that green toad up here? Yeah. Hey, unfortunately, we didn't get to film this section of it, which would, is, would have probably been a pretty good part to film. Uh, Miss Porcupine handed me up the little green plastic tote that we carry, and I was able to kind of reach over the end of the front end loader and shake the vertical section of bees that was kind of to my right. There was a large section vertically here and a smaller section horizontally here on that branch. And when I shook the vertical section into that tote and then dumped them into the box, we must have got the queen. Because at that point, all the focus went from the branches down into that box. And we were able to, at that point, get them. And here they are now. Okay, sorry. I had to stop filming to give him a bucket. And he ended up just knocking the rest of them in the bucket and then dumping them or a tote, that is, and dumping them into the box. And finally, apparently, we have gotten this persnickety queen in the box because they are no longer reaccumulating in the tree. They are going into the box. We just hope she stays in the box. Let's see if we fall in front of it. So, we'll come back this evening, close this up, and take them. Okay, we suited up for this portion. Uh, we brought them home last night and uh, had a piece of the drywall corner across there for transportation. Did take that off and give them a feeder last night. We don't know how long they've, they've been without any, any uh, nectar or pollen. So what we're going to do this morning is, is uh, go ahead and pull this screen off and let these out. There's a lot that are getting wedged down in here and getting stuck. So it's, it's time to let them out. So this, this could be interesting. Well, that sounds angry. Quite a few, quite a few injured ones down here from being smashed behind the screen. But uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll orient and uh, they'll stay. Um, 
I do see a couple of them doing the, the nazin off there at the doorway, so that's a good sign. So we'll just let these go and see how they do. We'll keep you updated, as always. Well, never had one that difficult to do before. Uh, please subscribe, thumbs up if you like it, questions and comments, always welcome. Thanks for watching.